Hi everyone, Charles C. here. Today, we are going to talk about the top exposed databases for year 2022, according to Bluepin Computer. We're going to use this article, and then we're going to use Shodan to search and see if we can find any, right? Pretty much how we can use Shodan to find it. Now, I will leave a link of the article below if anyone interested in reading about it, but I'm going to explain a little bit about this article and then we will jump into Shodan or technically how, you know, how I do my searches in the beginning. So then once we jump into Shodan, you can see some of the filters that we do, how you can start searching. But if you're only interested in Shodan search, I will add a timestamp below for you to skip to that section. Now, according to this article, Redis took the number one spot followed by MongoDB. And then in third place was Elasticsearch. Now, one of the common reason why hackers often hunt for them are due to the fact that there are misconfigurations that are in place, and it is very common, okay? But aside from that part, I do wanna mention that Group IB, who used their ASM, uh, the Attack Surface Management Solution, and they used that to scan the entire IPv4 space for open ports, relevant for access to the database and to provide us with this information. So I do want to mention that, you know, this article was, or this information was found by Group IB. All right, so let's go ahead and let's jump into how we can do the search uh, into Shodan, right? Now, before we jump into Shodan, let me mention that for this video, I'm not going to show MongoDB since I've already made a video on it previously. I'll leave a link below for that video as well. But we're going to start at a very basic level on how to conduct a search on Elasticsearch and then build our way up. So you could skip into the full query and I will leave a timestamp for that as well. But if you're just learning, I highly recommend watching it from start to get an understanding on how the search has been done. Now let's go ahead. I already have Elasticsearch already typed into Google. We're gonna do a quick search on Elasticsearch and see what we come up with. Now, why are we doing this? Well, before anything, if I'm unsure of a service or a product, I like to see if I can find any information that may help my search, right? How, do I, how, how I can get started. What is this product? Is it a database? Is it a web app? What could, what could it be? In this case, it, said, it tells me below what is Alexa Search is used for. It is a distributed search and analytics engine built on Apache. And since it was released in 2010, that's one thing. Another thing is, is it a database? It is a document-oriented database. Okay, so we know it's a database. Um, we know where it's getting distributed. It's a search and analytics engine, so on and so on, right? Now, next part, what I'll try to do and see, once I glance through everything, afterwards, I'll try to check and see if this Elastic has a default port, which it does. Now, according to Google, it's port 9200. It'll use up 9200 for request and 9300 for communication between nodes within the cluster. But that's how we can actually get started is off of that port. So let's go ahead and do a quick search and show it on port 9200 and see what we can come up with. So if we look into the left side, there's about total results. There's pretty much 1 million plus total results that comes up just on port 9200. But we're only looking for Elastic products. And that's our main thing that we're searching for, right? Not everything in port 9200 will be Elastic search based because developers, system owners, anyone that's working on something like this could be hosting something on port 9200. So it doesn't necessarily always mean that this 1 million plus results is Elastic Search, just to keep that in mind. And sometimes Elastic Search will not be in port 9200 either. Developers or engineers or, or system owners could place their port 9200, um, I mean, could place their Elastic Search on a default port. I mean, not, not on a default port, that's not exactly what I mean. So, but we'll, we'll, take, we'll do a, a search where we're not searching a base off of default port. This is only to get our foot into the door and then we're gonna further it down. So, let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit. We can see the top countries, we can see top organizations, we can see the top products. And that's, where, that's what I mean. We're only looking for Elastic Search. So, we're not looking for Elastic Honey, we're not looking for Hike Vision, we're not looking for OpenSSH or Flex. We're just looking for the word Elastic. Let's go ahead and click on this right now. As you can see, we went down for a million plus results to 28,000 plus results now. 
which is just based off a of port and product. But that we're not done here. Now we can narrow down even further. Obviously, it all depends if, we, if we're narrowing it down, whatever the case may be. This is how we're going to start the search. We know we have the port 9200. We know we have the product Elastic. At this moment, I can take port 9200 out of the way and just base my search off of Elastic. But for this video, at least, let's just do what, what, what came up. We can see right next to the IP address and the red arrow, um, it is receiving a 200 OK response back. We see the Fabricon icon next to the IP address as well. And below here, we're getting some banner information. We're seeing a readme. We're seeing indices information. So we know something's coming up. You know, the response gave back some sort of information. So what, what can we do now? How can we further the search down? Let's narrow it down. Let's do it only on 200 OK response code. What? Because the reason why we're going to do this, because sometimes we might get a 404 and 403. That may be the case. So we just want to look at things that are 200 OKs. That means the, the website loaded successfully, at least according to Shodan. So let's go ahead and let's type that in. All right. We went down a little bit, you know, in numbers. Not, not only the thousands, but in the hundreds, we went down a little bit on our results. If you take a look at the left side. Now, this is only providing us with 200 OK. So there was a possibility something could be unauthorized or 404s. Four four. There, there's a chance. But now it's all 200 OKs. If you still look at the banner information, we still see HTTP response codes. Icon is still there. There's also the uh, the elastic information that we're seeing, the indices, right? We're seeing what's inside those indices, for some of them at least. If you scroll down, this one has README. This one has CASA, Direct Data, README website, Kibana, whatever the case may be. This one doesn't show anything, but we still know it's a 200 OK, and we might have to take a look and see if, it, if, if we can see further information in that. We can take a look at the total sizes for each one of them if we want to break it down for, by that, but we don't for this because we want every size, every document possible. We don't need to narrow down further for that. We can see on, um, on the part that we're going to break down is going to be like the Fabricon icon now because we don't want our search just to be on 9200. So we're going to go ahead and click on this elastic search icon that's next to the IP address. And now we can see that, that our search results went even lower. Right now we have port 9200, we have the product elastic, we have 200 OKs, and then we have the icon va uh, hash value. But remember what I said earlier, let's not base our search of uh, the port. So let's take our port 9200 out of our search result. We went back to 28,000. We went from 26,000 plus to 28,000 plus again. Uh, still, still a little bit of a low results compared to how we started first, right? One of the main reasons why that could be it is that now we're searching it by the Fabicon hash value. So what that means that maybe our previous search results, some of them did not have a Fabicon hash or like the Fabicon icon is what I like to say. And the icon wasn't there. So that, that's why we, we saw a bit more results. But now we just want Shonen to show us anything that's popping up with the Fabicon icons. And that could be the reasons why it's still a little bit lower. Um, what we can do is further, let's take a look and see. Let's take our product elastic and see what our total results are. There we go. We got a bit more results now, which is just based off of 200 OK and the Fabricon hash value. Why is this more now? Well, think about it. Maybe Shodan didn't detect that product as elastic before, but it did detect the icon. So now we're seeing a lot more results, a lot more narrower. Yes, it's a little less of a query now, but we are seeing an accurate result of just elastic search off of that icon. Sometimes icon can be different. So make sure you keep track of the icons that, that the icon values that you're you know searching off of. Sometimes you'll come across maybe a different elastic search icon and save it for for two different search results, right? So what can we do at this point? We have everything that we need. We can break it down by top country to see, you know, China, United States. Before when we first started, it was the US that was the first top country, but now it's China. China is having that. What we can do, 28,000 results, we can break it down by organization. If you scroll a little bit lower, now we can narrow it down based off of your organization. So it's not looking for every single other organization that Shodan was able to pick up. We can see the top product. You know, products are different now. It's just probably having a different product being listed rather than just being elastic. Remember, we talked about it. Why is it more now? That gives us an answer. It's coming up with different product that Shodan picked up rather than just elastic. But the main thing you should know is that, hey, because we did this, does that mean that they're different and elastic? No, because we're, our main search filter is based off of the Fabicon hash value.
That's the search result that we're going after. So our search result is based off of this. Our filter is based off of 200 response back with the Favicon icons or Favicon hash value, which is these icons right next to the IP address. What can we do at this point? You know, what else can we do? Let's let's go ahead and, and let's say we want to break it down just by US. So we can click on United States. And then you can take a look at the query up top. It's country based off of just the US. That's all it is. We can break it down by top cities, but we're not going to go that far on that part right now. You know, maybe we'll do a filter, advanced filter section or filter video one of these days. But let's break that down by like, let's do um, Amazon Technologies at this point. Let's see what they have. They also have a couple. They, they're, now we're narrowed down to nine, 952 results. We went from 1 million results to 952. This is how you narrow things out. And that's where you see the organization query at the top right. You see how the organization is the field is played out at this moment but obviously I'm using it as an example you should use it as how you see it you know based on your organization or if you're doing bug bounty that's where the organization will feel will come into place right what can we do at this moment you know we're not seeing any sort of indices maybe that's that's how we want to do it we want to see just indice information so what we can do is we can copy this copy this indices keyword scroll up and just place that in we broke that down by 100. Now we're at 805 results. That's only coming up based off of that shows indices into our section or in our search. And you can see that everything's being red colored highlighted of indices. That means all the search results are being based off of that. That means if you click on this, it should come up with, you know, elastic search information. When you're when you're searching for these things, you can break down more by content lens. Maybe you want to see content lens that have only 542, meaning different lens have different type of information. Talking about like how much information is in there, right? That's how I take it. But of course, that's how you can break it down even further and further. Maybe you don't want to see Amazon AWS related issues or or the host names not related to that. You can break that down. Uh, we won't do it for this video, but on the top left side, take a look. There's different ports that this Elastic is being based on. No more port 9200. Of course, port 9200 has the most search or most results returned. But the fact is, there's there's other ones that you would have missed out if you had just based it off of port 9200. You have 80, 80, 80, 9201, 9210, whatever the case may be. Now, before before we end this video, I do want to mention, you know, just because it's coming back as 200 OK in Shodan doesn't necessarily mean that the page might load as well. You will come across occasions where you click on the red arrow to see if the page loads and it might not. Why is that case? Because from when Shodan ran the scan to when you're checking, maybe they took it offline. Maybe they isolated that particular asset. That could be the case. And Shodan hasn't updated on their side. That could be another reason. So just because they all return as 200 OKs doesn't necessarily mean that the page will load for you, but it should. Just a few, there might be that where it will not load because the system owners might have taken that elastic search down. They don't need it anymore. And that's all I want to mention. But that's it for this video, everyone. You know, the query is there. It's pretty much HTTP status 200, fabric on hash, the country of US, organization is Amazon Technologies Inc. And then we just base it off of indices. That's a that's the full query. If you want to take a look, pause it, rewind it, or the case may be. But you don't have, change the organization. You know you're doing bug bounty. Pick the organization that you're doing the searches on. But whatever the case may be, that's that would be some part of an advanced query at this point. And just save your queries and do different ways of doing your searches. We talked about content lens. Uh, base it off of that as well. Whatever the case may be, whatever search results you see, you can base your filters off of that. I hope honestly that this video clears out on how to do a search from start to finish. We will work on making a Redis video next based off of the article. But that's it for this video. Stay tuned as I make that Redis part of the video and I uh, hope to see you again. Thank you.